Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Skyrim. Where the heck are we? We're down here in this place called Frost Flow Abyss. This is a weird place, man. I had no idea this was such a big place. We're underneath of this lighthouse where we learned about this family that was living here and the tragedy that befell them. We went down in the cellar and found a tunnel that took us into like this Falmer cave. There's these Falmers down here. There's these chitons down here. It's crazy, man. This place is crazy. It's weird, it just said I was detected. I don't know who detected me. Uh, but it looks like, um... Let's see here. I'm trying to get my bearings, which I, I guess I came... from over here, maybe? And I really wonder who's detecting me, and what the heck is this thing? This is really weird. It's kind of driving me crazy. As usual, I am over encumbered or very close to it. And, um, I can't pick up this stuff, man. All these chorus eggs in here. These egg sacks just begging, just begging to be harvested. But I can't do it because I just don't have enough space. Oh, wow, this is the way I'm supposed to be going. Okay. Hm, I thought I was going backwards. But I guess I'm not. I guess we're going forward here. Oh, there's another chitin down there. Chorus. Did I say chitin before chorus? Whatever, you know what I mean. Let's see if we can take these losers out. There's a bunch of them down here. They're all spitting at me. Doesn't hurt me that bad. It's just an annoyance, really. They're uh, just hanging out over there. Thought I saw one climbing on the wall over there. Man, what are we gonna see down here? I'm wondering if there's like some gonna be, gonna be some giant one down here, some giant chorus. I don't want to fight a giant chorus, man. Where is? Oh, there's three of them over there. I kind of like to stay up here in this ledge so I could run away if things get too hot and heavy. But they're just kind of hanging out. Is this one of them right here? Uh, no, that's the dead one. Hmm. How can I get these guys to come around the corner here so I can finish them off? Boy, there's four of them, maybe? According to my compass. Oh, they just disappeared. Man, I'm going to have to drop down off of here, aren't I? It's really not my preference. There's one way over there. How far can I shoot? About that far. Oh, yeah, we're doing some damage to him. He's coming. Oh, here they come. Oh, they are just spewing all over me. One's dead. Here's another one coming around this way. I see you over there trying to flank me. Nice move, dude. Oh, ooh, what the hell is that? Oh, gross. What is this thing? Gross. Chorus Hunter Fledgling? Gross. It's one of the more disgusting things I've ever seen in the game. Nasty thing. Boy, it's taking a beating. I don't have enough magicka. I'm going to fill up on some more magicka. I want to stay away from these things as much as possible. I don't want to get close to, get close to them. Um, let's see. Let's do just regular magicka here. Get away from me. Disgusting thing. Hey, you better run away. Oh! Son of a... Oh, that hurt. I'm hurting a little bit over here. Okay, he's dead. Just beaten to... Oh, 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 oh. I'm probably gonna die. Uh, let's take some heal... I only have one potion of healing. Uh, let's finish off these uh, minor healing potions. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, I don't like this at all. Oh, it's... Oh, it's big. Oh, and it killed me. Oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Man, I almost had a full health, didn't I? Damn. Wow. I don't like this. Well, we found what appears to be a boss down here. And he showed me who's boss, that's for sure. Damn. All right, all right, all right, all right. I've got these levels here. Let's level up. 
Let's do a little bit of leveling up here. Let's put a little bit into health. Uh, I have eight perks to increase. Let's go into destruction here. Is there anything I could do in destruction? Let's see if I could do more damage with each... Each... Uh, um, each of my... Shots here. Uh, this thing requires 70. Over here, we've got... Expert Destruction. Well, see, this requires 75, and that's not really going to help me help me anyway. Uh, deep Freeze, no. Uh, intense Flames. This is the one that causes targets to flee if their health is low. This is the one that I keep saying that I'm not interested in, because when their health is low, I want them to stick around so I could finish them off. So I don't really think there's anything else I'm in, interested in in Destruction, at least not right now. Um, you know, Restoration, no. Alteration, no. Enchanting. I'm not going to be enchanting anything down here. Uh, smithing heavy armor. I guess I could increase my heavy armor a bit, maybe. Uh, juggernaut increases armor rating for heavy armor by 80%. Um, my heavy armor is only 58. I need 60 for this. This thing called well fitted here. That's a 25% armor bonus if wearing all pieces. Tower of strength. 50% less stagger when wearing only heavy armor. See, right now I'm not wearing only heavy armor. I've got my elven boots on. Up here is matching set, additional. That's a, That requires 70, so I'm not going to worry about that one right now. Um, I mean, over here, if we go this way, fists of steel, unarmed attacks, I never do that. Yeah. So, and, and I, we can't do this one unless we do this one first. This one... Well, let me go back. I don't like this interface. This one here, half damage from falling. Eh, whatever. See, I, I, I've got all these perks to spend, and I just really don't know what to spend them on. I mean, I guess I could put more into two-handed, because I do do that every once in a while. Barbarian. Well, to get to the next level, I need to get up to 80. Uh, champion Stance, we've got that. That's for power attacks. Uh, limb Splitter, attacks with battle. Okay. Let's see, what's the one I'm using? I'm using a great sword, right? Am I using a great sword? I don't even remember. Um, yeah, I'm using a great sword. I think I like using the great sword the most, so I think I'm going to specialize in that. So let's go back into my skills. Let's go into two handed. And uh, here, attacks with great swords have a 10% chance of doing critical damage. Let's go ahead and get that. We'll get this up to 15%. And then we can't go to 90% because that requires 20%. Uh, Skull Crusher is for Warhammers. I'm not using Warhammers. Um, then here we've got Devastating Blow. Standing Power Attacks. Do 25% bonus damage with a chance to de decapitate your enemies. I don't do Power Attacks all that often. And another Power Attack thing. The game is going to force me into doing Power Attacks. They just take so long, man. Standing power attacks do 25% bonus damage with a chance to de decapitate your enemies. That's cool. They're all power attacks, though. I guess I better start doing power attacks more often, huh? Let's go ahead and get this. Okay. Um, and then, where else do we want to put some stuff? I don't know. Not sneak, not lockpicking, not pickpocket. Uh, speech, no thanks. Alchemy... I don't know. Um, I really wish I could put something more into destruction because I rely on that so much. I mean, maybe I should go ahead and get this freaking intense flames. Cause targets to flee. It just sounds like a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know, man. I really don't want that. Ooh, let's get this. Here we go. This is what I want. Next rank fire spells do 50% more. Yes, please. Now we're talking. Now we're talking a language that I understand. That's what we're talking about right there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I never do runes, so. Um, okay. Well, that's pretty good. And then I should probably put stuff into enchanting, maybe, if I'm going to want to enchant... Um, my weaponry and my armor and stuff. Let's go ahead and get this. And let's see, this here is Soul Squeezer. 
Soul gems provide extra magicka for recharging. This one here. Insightful enchanter skill enchantments on armor are 25% stronger. That sounds pretty cool. And this one here is probably fire enchant. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Let's get this. Okay, I'm going to save my other two perks. I just like to keep perks around. I don't know. I just do. Uh, okay, so we've done all that. Uh, I'm going to hit an F5 here in case I die. So that I don't have to do all that again. So, <laughs> really wish that I could fight all these guys from up here. Including the big dude. Is he not dead yet? He is now, I think. And then this guy's running away. Don't run away! Come back! Yeah, man. I wish I had an escape route. Don't want to drop down in here. And now there's... Last time I think I killed two of them before I dropped down in there. And this time I only killed one. Can't quite tell... Some movement over there. Boy, I got some good range with this fireball spell, man. Oh, there's Big Daddy. There we go. Now we're talking. See, I want to fight him. I want to cheese him, man. I want to fight him from up here. I mean, although, is this really cheesing? I mean, it's not my fault that uh, he can't get up here. Man, he hit me from a long way away. And look at the damage he did to me. He hit me hard. He hit me real hard. Damn. But if I can keep him from taking a bite out of me. I also wonder if it's worth switching to Fireball. Right? Let's try Fireball. Takes more of my Magicka, but... Yeah, that takes more of my Magicka, but it does splash damage. They're hitting me pretty hard, man. I'm gonna wait for my magicka to come back too. So that that uses so much magicka, but we've we've really hurt that chorus hunter fledgling. Done pretty good. I guess I might as well use my potions. That's what they're for, right? Go ahead and extreme magicka it up. Extreme heal it up. Oh, why didn't my magicka go up? What's going on? I took extreme magicka. Hmm, I thought I did. I don't know. We did it. We must have killed the big guy. We found the source of the murders at Frostflow Lighthouse. So we're not quite done yet. Switch back to my less expensive spell. See if we can't finish the rest of these guys off. Okay, he did. Uh, somebody's still shooting at me from a distance. The big one's body just went flying. I don't know if you saw that or not. I mean, we also have the option of using our bow. For fun, you know? Have a little bit of fun with the bow. Where are these guys? Oh, there's still three of them over there? I think there's one of them right down here. Maybe? Yeah. Don't do much damage to him. I'm using my good elven arrows, too. Hey, quit it. Yeah, this takes a long time, but in the meantime... My magic is coming back up. But damn, I am going through the arrows. Look at all the arrows sticking out of him. Haha, <laughs> that was a good shot. Come on, that was good. That was a pretty good shot. Alright, uh, at least two more of them remain. I mean, I might be able to jump down there and take them out. One of them is in this direction, somewhere out there. I mean, I could try fireball and see if the fireball damages any of them.
It's hard to say. Yeah, they're both still over there, though. Well, let's get down here and finish them off. Ouch, what just... Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Is he stuck in the wall? I think he was. I don't have enough magic. Let's finish him off. Okay, he's dead. I mean, I can't really... I mean, I'm going to go ahead and see if they got gold on them. I could at least take the gold. But these these chorus, they generally don't carry anything all that fantastic. I do want to loot the big daddy, though. That's for sure. I have to make sure we find his body. Big daddy, big mama. Whatever it is. This is the one that has all my arrows in it. I'll get three of them back. Where's the big one? Here we go. Let's see what you got on you. Ooh. Oh, Hobbs lighthouse key. Okay, cool. We could go back up top. And here's Hobbs remains. Gross. I don't think I want to be carrying Hobbs remains around. Look at this. That's pretty gross, man. Yeah, that's what happened to Hobbed. He got eaten by that thing. Nasty. I think there's still one more down here, isn't there? Thought there was, maybe not. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, the quest is just a miscellaneous quest, right? And I guess it's that's it. That quest is gone. Miscellaneous quests, they do not show up as completed, I don't think. So it's not like we can go back and look at it anyway. Um, but yeah, it was just find, find the source of the murders, and now we've found the source. It was these, uh, chitin, or chorus, cori down here. <laughs> There's so many <laughs> egg sacs down here, man. Well, I guess we're gonna leave this place. Sad story, man. Sad, sad story. Did I check this one? Eggs. I mean, I can't even pick, well... I guess I can pick up some eggs. My carry weight went down, probably because of all the potions I took, right? Let's get the hell out of here, man. This place is the worst. We cleared all the out all the chorus, but who knows? Maybe they'll come back. We should put up a sign warning people to stay away. chest here. Strength. Elven Shield of Flame Suppression. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm going to have to drop some more stuff. I'm up to 378. Um, and I guess I guess Janass is dead, man. I guess she drowned. And she had some cool stuff on her, so I wish I could find her body. But it's probably gone. What are the odds that her body would still be out there? Where we where we lost it in the water. I can't believe that she's dead. I just can't, but I I mean I guess she is. <sighs> I, I don't I don't take the blame for that one, man. It's not my fault she swam down there and stayed down there. That's that's not on me, man. I'm not taking the blame for that one. Alright, we need to drop some more stuff, and I guess it's gonna be um I guess these eggs. Gosh, they're worth so much, though. But, whatever. Um, get rid of the eggs and uh, salt piles and slaughterfish egg and these things. There. What did I do? Did I just... I don't know. Maybe I just ate all of those. <laughs> I thought I was dropping them. Maybe I ate them. <sighs> Whatever, man. Somehow, somehow I managed to live. Somehow. Okay, let's uh, drop down here. And then uh, get the hell out of here. Which is the way out? I guess maybe I need to select a quest and have the game tell me how to get out of here. 
Um, I was on my way to bring this guy his fine cut void salts. So let's turn that one on. There we go. Game's pointing me in this direction. Let's get the hell out of here, man. This is this is one of the worst places I've ever been. Sad story. Very sad story. Well, at least we could go to the top of the lighthouse. Was it, and uh, there was a key to a chest up there, I believe. Is that what was up top? I think. So let's go back up top. We might as well finish clearing this place out. No sense in leaving it here for some bandit to take. I think I walked in that uh, bear trap, maybe. Okay. Here we go, this chest here. More stuff to carry, man. What a 387, man. <laughs> Golly. Um, I still don't see Winterhold. One of the notes, one of the, in the, one of the journals or something said that they could see the college from here, but I don't see it. Well, I'm going to have to decide what to drop here. Look at all of my stuff. Let's sort by um, weight, and we'll drop an ebony boots. Those are pretty cool. I want to drop these orcish boots. They don't quite meet my value to weight ratio of thirty. And um, what else could we drop? I mean, everything else is only worth one, so. I need to drop something else that's worth something. I, I mean, these ebony boots, I guess I'll drop these. They're heavy armor, though. Hate to drop them. I mean, there's some cool stuff here. Hmm. Man, I... I don't know what to get rid of. These snow bear pelts. We'll get rid of these. We don't need these. That gets me down to 371. Okay, we're good. I mean, do I have other pelts I could get rid of? Ice wolf pelt, we'll drop these. Um, and I mean, I got all these potions. Because I wanted to see if I could get these orcish boots back. At least they're worth something, but I guess it doesn't really matter. They weigh seven, and I'm at 369. So, type. Got a bunch of keys. Some miscellaneous. We got some goat horns that I actually do want to keep. I got eight goat horns, and they weigh one each. That's eight weight. I mean, I can always buy more goat horns, I guess. But it seems like I have trouble finding them. I don't see them wear ever as frequently as I think I should. Hmm. Um. But they're, they're not worth a whole lot, right? So. Where'd they go? Probably already scrolled past them, didn't I? Goat horns. We'll drop these and pick up those boots. At least they're worth something. Goat horns. I'll drop these. We'll pick up the boots. Okay, that's pretty good. And I guess I could pick up some of these. Well, I didn't mean to pick up all of them. What the hell, man? Uh, we'll drop uh, two of these. Alright, that puts me down. Well, let's leave this place, man. Man... I'm so bothered about Janassa. The hell, man. I guess I'll just continue my walk over to, to Dawnstar. What's it called? Am 
I saying it wrong? Dawnstar, that's right. Let's go. Let's go on over to Dawnstar, man. That is, um, yeah, an Imperial camp that hasn't drawn in yet. Boy, there's a lot of wildlife here. Holy cow, it's a freaking convention. I'm just following this path. Safety in numbers. Oh. Okay. Go through these trees here. Resist the urge to pick herbs on my way here. Look at this majestic, majestic creature. Uh, in that direction, there's some towers, it looks like. But I can't do any more exploring. We gotta, we gotta get to a city and sell some of this crap off, man. So hopefully I'll find the path to Dawnstar. People walking around over there. I think it's maybe just a couple hunters, maybe. I don't know. Don't know if they're going to be hostile towards me or not. Um, I'm not going to go over there, not because I'm afraid of them, but because I'm so over encumbered that if I were to fight them, I couldn't even pick up the goodies and enjoy the spoils of victory. So we're just going to head on over here to Dawnstar. Which I don't see yet. Don't remember. Yeah, I guess it's down here close to the water, huh? Look at this. We've got some corundum ore here. Walk down this steep path. Take us right into town. Okay, so... One of the main reasons I wanted to come here was to uh, bring the fine-cut void salts back to Wayfinder. Wayfinder, I believe, is on one of these boats. Probably that one right there. So let's cruise on over there and say hi to him. Give him these void salts. And maybe this will count as helping uh, people, because I believe we also have an assist to the people of the Pale, and I think that we're in the Pale now, I think. I don't really know the geography all that well. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. Wouldn't we all? So let's see if this counts as helping. Thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn. Hey you. I, just don't know it. I don't buy all that talk about ship captains having to be stern and strict. I want my crewmen to enjoy their work. I want to work for you. Well, I have the fine cut void salts. That's the first bit of good news I've had since I set sail a year ago. Here's your cut. 1250, that's pretty good. And that did count as assisting people of the pale. Cool. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, you know? I mean. I inherited the ship when my mother passed away. Uh, oh. She spent her life on the water, and now I do too. All right, well. Nice doing business with you. I wonder if there's some other way we could help the people of the Pale here. Uh, I've already mined stuff from both of these places, so I don't think that there's anything else I could do to help them. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. I have Quicksilver ore to sell. I'll buy everything you've dug up. <laughs> he gave me 25 gold, so that does not count as All helping. Right. Fruki's house. So yeah, what else could I do to help the people of the Pale? I mean, sometimes I've had people tell me that it's just as simple as cutting some wood, you know? 
Uh, if there was a farm here, I could probably help do some farming. Hi, how are you? I help my husband Rustley run the forge. Mm -hmm. He's a marvel with steel. Oh, is he? Hey, um, what do you got for sale? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? No, really, I'm looking to unload some stuff. And, uh, I'm hoping that you'll buy some of it off of me, like... I mean, I'm, wearing, I'm walking around with steel plate armor? <laughs> uh, okay. Nope, that's what she sells. I almost screwed up there. Almost. Um... Yeah. Well, the orcish boots I definitely want to sell. And then I've got this other stuff here. I want to go and find an alchemy, or not an arcane enchanter, and see if any of this stuff is, um, if I could disenchant it. I always want to check that before I go selling stuff off. And here in Dawnstar, um, I could go to the White Hall to find an arcane enchanter. Or Nightcaller Temple. This is um, the Mortar and Pestle. So, let's see here. Where do I need to go? This is there's something about this town that I find confusing. I'm not really sure why. Oh, this is um, the, the museum guy here. Um, okay, that's probably the Longhouse up there. If we go up to the Longhouse. And then Nightcaller Temple, I think, is up the hill. I'm not going to walk all the way up there. Hey, what's up? One side, coming through. <laughs> okay. My cousin's out fighting dragons. In what do I get? Garden. No garden here to help pick plants. Hello. All right, let's go in here. The White Hall. Hmm. I don't know where the Arcane Enchanter is. This is a kid's room, isn't it? Yeah. I think. I don't know. A lot of these longhouses look exactly the same. Here we go. So let's see if we have anything we can disenchant here. Uh, no, not really. I have a Ring of Smithing and some Elven Boots of Falling. The Ring of Smithing I've actually used before. Uh, but everything else we for free to sell. Can I still stuff to you? I'm here to lend my magic to the people of Dawnstar. Okay. I had hoped life would be simple. So, you wish to master the arcane arts. Oh, I just want to sell some stuff. Staff of Fire Bolts. Staff of Ice Spikes. Staff of Lightning Bolts. Uh, she doesn't have enough gold. What can we buy from her to even things out? Ooh, she has a filled grand soul gem. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. And then we can sell her. I mean, this is cool and all, but I'm never going to use it. So we'll go ahead and sell that. And um, she's really not too interested in buying anything else from us, is she? Do I have any tomes to sell? Or scrolls, a spell to muffle. Oh, that's one I don't know. Yeah, that's the only tome I've got. Scrolls. Okay, I don't have any scrolls to sell either. Huh, okay. Well. Uh, she will buy some of this stuff from me. She'll buy the gold diamond necklace. Let's see. Necklace of Dwindling Shock. All right. And these robes. We'll sell these. The necklace. She doesn't have enough left. Um, but she does sell things I am interested in. Here's a filled greater soul gem. We'll buy that from her. And then I can turn around and sell her uh, this gold diamond necklace. Party shoes. I don't need these here. Buy these from me. Uh, and then these rings... Let's go ahead and sell these off. That's pretty good. We did pretty good there, but our weight is still ridiculous. Back to another fine day in Dawnstar. Mm -hmm. Another fine day. Well, I wish I knew what else I could do to help the people of the Pale. So I could become a Thane. I want to be a Thane everywhere, man. 
as many places as we can be. A Thane, I want to be Thane. I want to collect them all. It's just some barracks. There's a wolf here in town? Hmm. I want I want this arrow. Why am I coming in here? Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Hmm. Okay. Any uh, work needs to be done? I'm sorry. My mind was just somewhere else. Uh, do you need a room? Drink? I'm looking for work. You got any leads? Here. Hmm. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Uh, kill the giant. Now, I don't know if this would count as helping people of the Pale or not. Good day. Look at all the stuff he's got behind the counter here. <laughs> oh, do you need a room? Uh, no, not really. I'm good. Hmm? <laughs> that was funny. Move it, move it! Oh, sorry, gosh. No lollygagging. So... Nobody's asked me to chop wood, and I'm still not 100% sure how you do it. I thought you just simply walked over to a pile, and I don't think I need an axe. Yeah, I don't need that, so... Can I not chop wood if people don't ask me to chop wood? Oh my, there's a dead chicken here. I didn't do it, man. Mm-mm. I guess that wolf did that, huh? Uh, What was that thing that I just picked up? Woodcutter's axe. I don't need this. Alright. I think it's like a stump or something I need. Isn't that right? There has to be a stump. I need to go to the stump and then I could chop wood. So let's just quickly sell off some stuff here. Hey, dude. Need a dagger? No? How about a claymore? The finest weapons and armor. Yep. Hopefully you have a lot of gold. Yeah, he doesn't have a whole lot. So we're going to sell him the Steel War Axe of Diminishing. Um, I feel like I should do something with these boots. Elven Shield of Dwindling Frost. Elven Shield of Flame Suppression. Some pretty cool stuff. But um, that's pretty much all that he's going to buy from us, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think he's too interested in anything else I've got. So, these ebony boots. Let's do a little comparison here. Come back if you need steel. So the ebony... My, my understanding is that ebony is really good, right? So I've got ebony boots here. They have a base armor of 32. Whereas I am wearing... Well, right now I'm wearing these. Let's put these back on. Uh, my Nordic carved boots. These are these are up to 44, but they're superior. Golly, man. Did these... If I get these up to... Oh, wait a minute. Now they say 40. Is that what they said before? Okay, so if I got these up to superior, they probably would be better than 44, wouldn't they? And uh, my boots aren't enchanted. So can I improve these boots and you know what if I remember correctly there's no workbench here in this town is there there's an anvil there's a tanning rack there's a forge but yeah I just I believe I am like in one of the rare towns that does not have a freaking workbench the one time I want to use a workbench need something no just hanging out bro So, we've got our weight down to 316, which isn't fantastic. It's not great. Um, in this town, surely there's like a, 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 a trader. Isn't there? There's an apothecary over there. Maybe I could sell off some potions in here. Here at the Mortar and Pestle. The Mortar and Pestle makes potions. 
if you can't tell from the name. Mm -hmm. The mortar and pestle has cured. Take a look. Okay. Uh, so as far as stuff she'll buy from us, I mean, I don't really want this. And I'm never going to use this. I just, I'm just not. Uh, lingering poison. Yeah, whatever. Um, magic of poison. I'll never use that. Uh, I like paralysis, though. Filter of resist magic. I'll never use that. Um, and what else do I want to get rid of? Anything else? Resist cold. I'll never use that. I don't even need it. I'm a Nord. Uh, she's out of gold. Does she have anything I want to buy from her? No, I don't think she does. Uh, I guess maybe I could buy some... The, this potion of healing from her. And I'll buy these minor p healing potions too. It's too bad she doesn't have more uh, healing potions. I go through them pretty quickly. And I don't find them as frequently as I would like. So, let's see. What were we getting ready to sell to her? A uh, potion of resist cold. And resist fire. We'll sell that one too. And, um... Stamina poison. Get rid of that. Okay. That leaves her with not much. Let me know if you come down with the rattles. <laughs> You'll be the first person I tell if I come down with the rattles. So yeah, I guess this town doesn't have like a trader in it. Just a small little town here. Hmm. Let's look at our quests here. We, we just picked up this one called Kill the Giant located at Red Road Pass. Red Road Pass is down here. We've actually have a, we've already been there. Um, I'm curious to know if killing this giant will count as helping the people of the Pale. So let's head in this direction. Let's see. I mean, we shouldn't have too much trouble killing a giant. Of course, we're alone. We don't have a companion with us. Follower, however you want to call it. So, with it just being myself without somebody to cause a distraction, this could be more difficult than I'm thinking it's going to be. And I could be wrong, but I think we may have killed a, a giant at this place once before. Let me look at my completed quests. No, we haven't. We've been to this location before, because it's white. The marker is white. There's all kinds of craziness going on over here. People fighting these wolves. I don't know if these are good people or bad people. Oh, okay, we got the wolf. Oh, these are... Uh, Khajiit. Akari, Karjo, Zainabi, and bring your coins. Dro Marish. Well, these guys are basically hmm? traitors, right? Lead you to warm sands. So many refuse to take a look. What do you got? You gonna? Would you buy anything from me? Anything heavy that I've got? Uh, the ebony boots. I'm gonna try to do something with, and then. Yeah, nothing else that I want to um, get rid of here. I don't think. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I still. I th okay, Carjo. That's who I'm looking for. I keep hoping that when I run into one of these. Oh, it is Carjo right here. Hey, Carjo. This one needs something. Yeah, Carjo. I have your amulet. There it is. Oh. Ah, home. If you ever need the skills of a Kajit warrior by your side. I would be honored to travel Ooh, with you. Ooh, a new follower. Until then... <laughs> You're gonna be sorry you said that, dude. For you. In thanks. Okay. Wow, we got 1250 gold, too. Alright, well, good. So he is somebody else that we could uh, have as a follower. <laughs> May the sun keep you warm, even in this land. He's gonna be sorry he told us that one day. <laughs> Alright, let's run over here. Let's see if I could do this, man. I don't know. I mean, taking out taking down a giant by myself. There he is. Let's see if we get the first shot. Uh, what do I have chosen? Fire bolt. Okay. If 
I'm lucky I'll finish him off before he even gets close to me. Oh, damn it. Nice move, dude. problem. I'm sorry you had to witness that, um, mammoth. Get away. Get away, I want to loot this body. Amethyst, giant's toe, gold arrow. Mm, I mean, I ain't gonna take a look. I'll take the petty soul gem. Take the arrows. And, um... We'll just leave the other stuff there. I don't need to be carrying that crap around. I'm going to back off. Alright, so we, we did that. Completed uh, that. And now we need to collect the bounty from Scald. But, um, let's see here. That's going to be right over here. Uh, but we'll do that in the next episode. I'm going to end this one right here. Just kind of hang out. Actually, you know what? Let's go over and hang out by his fire. <laughs> Kill him and then take over his fire. Yeah, we'll we'll sit over here by his nice warm fire and we'll just read a book to ourselves. We've got, I mean, other than the mammoth over there, we really don't have an audience. It's very lonely. But let's look at our inventory here and see if I've got a book we could read. Um, let us read Racial Phylogeny. Notes on Racial Phylogeny and Biology, 7th edition by the Council of Healers, Imperial University. After much analysis of living specimens, the Council long ago determined that all races of elves and humans may mate with each other and bear fertile offspring. Generally, the offspring bear the racial traits of the mother, though some traces of the father's race may also be present. It is less clear whether the Argonians and Khajiit are in interfertile, that's what it says, interfertile with both humans and elves. Though there have been many reports throughout the eras of children from these unions, as well as stories of unions with Daedra, there have been no well-documented offspring. Khajiit differ from humans and elves not only in their skeletal and dermal physiology, the fur that covers their body, but in their metabolism and digestion as well. Argonians, like the Dru, appear to be a semi-aquatic, limnophilic form of humans, though it is by no means clear whether the Argonians should be classified with Dru, men, mare, or in this author's opinion, certain tree-dwelling lizards in Black Marsh. The reproductive biology of orcs is at present not well understood, and the same is true of goblins, trolls, harpies, dru, seishi, imga, various daedra, and many others. Certainly, there have been cases of intercourse between these races, generally in the nature of rape or magical seduction, but there have been no documented cases of pregnancy. Still, the interfertility of these creatures and the civilized hominids has yet to be empirically established or refuted, likely due to the deep cultural differences. Surely any normal Bosmer or Breton impregnated by an orc would keep that shame to herself, and there's no reason to suppose that an orc maiden impregnated by a human would not be likewise ostracized by her society. Reg regrettably, our oaths as healers keep us from forcing a coupling to satisfy our scientific knowledge. We do know, however, that the Slode of Thras are hermaphrodites in their youth and later reabsorb their reproductive organs once they are old enough to move about on land. It can be safely assumed that they are not interfertile with men or mare. One might further wonder whether the proper classification of these same races, to use the imprecise but useful term, should be made from the assumption of a common heritage and the differences between them have arisen from magical experimentation, the manipulations of the so-called earth bones, or from gradual changes from one generation to the next. All right, now you know all about that. That'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We come back next time. Uh, we'll head over to uh, Dawnstar. We'll go see Scald, and we'll see if that counts as assisting the people of the Pale. And then uh, what we'll most probably do 
Well, I was going to say that we'll start heading west because there's a lot of quests over here for us to do. But I might consider fast traveling back to Pilgrim's Trench just to see if I could find Janassa's body. I don't know, man. Um, or we might fast travel back to uh, Whiterun, where we initially picked her up, and uh, see if she went back there. I don't know, man. I have no idea. It's so bizarre. Anyway, that's where this episode ends. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.